Hannah, it's Hannah and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have a video about Apple Watches. Now if you don't know what this is, then um, where have you been? Apple Watch is like, the way I always describe it, is it's a tiny phone on your wrist that can be waterproof, that can be a Fitbit, that can be all of these things. I got the Apple Watch Series 2 recently, and I just wanted to give like a little review. I've never really done a video like this before, and we'll be doing a lot of them, so if you don't like these kind of videos, don't worry, there's not going to be a lot of them. I just thought I would make something like this to help you if you're looking to buy an Apple Watch. I got the Apple Watch Series 2 in gold with a navy blue band. Now the reason I personally got the Series 2 watch is I'm a lifeguard, and it's very helpful to have it waterproof. And honestly, I've loved it. I've never had a smartwatch before, so this is my first. <laughs> there it goes right now. All this is new to me. I've never had something dinging on my wrist every five minutes when the group chat goes crazy. But I have absolutely loved it. It's really helpful if I'm like up around the house doing chores or cleaning or something like that, and I don't have to carry around my phone with me, but I don't want to miss any notifications. I can just leave my phone here on the charger and walk around wherever. I want to go and still get notifications if that makes sense. I like the activity app. It has basically a lot of features that a Fitbit would. The pedometer, so it tracks your steps, tracks your activity. You can set it to different levels of activeness, how active you want to be. I have mine set on like medium activity, so you're not like couch potato all day, or you're not like constantly running marathons. You're like a half medium. <laughs> between the two. For me, it has every day, I think I'm supposed to have like burn 450 calories or something like that, and then exercise for 30 minutes. It also has lots, lots of workouts. So like it has, what are some? There's pool swim, other outdoor walk, outdoor run, outdoor cycle, indoor run, indoor cycle, ecliptical, I don't think I say that right, rower, stair stepper, and open water swim. It can track as you're exercising. The next thing that I really like about the watch is, what else do I like about this watch? Yeah. Navigation. Navigation is something that's really cool to have when you're going somewhere because it doesn't just copy what your phone does. It has like directions and then it'll move down as you go through the directions, but it vibrates every time you're about to go somewhere. So that's really, really nice. Because then it gets your attention when you're about to turn and you don't have to worry about missing a turn or not hearing your GPS. One of my favorite apps on this, I think, favorite probably has been Trivia Crack because I like having it on my watch so if I'm bored or waiting somewhere or something and I don't really want to get my purse out or my phone out, I have the Trivia Crack like with me so I don't have to worry about anything else <laughs> or like I don't have to worry about holding the phone I can just be like, yay, give me a <laughs> Another thing that I like about it is the different faces. There's lots of different faces. And all the faces are customizable too. Going somewhere like more formal, I wouldn't have it on the activity watch setting. Although that's normally what I have it on. So what else do I like about this watch? I know there's like tons of things, but it's hard to think of them. I like that you could text on it. That's really handy. I heard the Series 1 watch was slower than the Series 2. I, of course, never had the Series 1, so I don't know how to compare it to the Series 2. I've never really had any problems with the Series 2 being slow. The only downside that I've found so far is that the battery on my phone dies a lot faster. Now, personally, I have the iPhone 5S, I think 32 gigabyte. Really good phone, I need to upgrade soon and I want to, but that might be part of the reason why the battery dies so fast is because it is an older phone. There also is the fact that the Bluetooth has to be on because it connects to your watch via Bluetooth. So when the Bluetooth's on, your phone's gonna die faster. That is one downside. But compared to that one downside, there's a lot of upsides. One thing that I don't like, and it could just be an update issue, but Facebook Messenger, every time I go on it, it just spins and spins and spins and spins. Now it could that probably could be a problem on my end. But it's just one thing I noticed it worked the first day I got it and then after that it didn't. That is another thing that can get annoying is when you have a group chat or several group chats, then they start going off and it's like pow 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 text messages. Now one thing I would recommend is if you are planning on getting it, get a screen protector. Not because it's going to crack. I had mine for like three weeks and it got a few scratches on it. Of course I wasn't like treating it like a baby or 
hiding it or anything or whatever, I don't know. But I wasn't like babying it, I was using it like you would a normal watch. And it got a few scratches on it, nothing terrible, nothing bad. I actually went and got a screen protector today and so far it's been much nicer because now I don't have to worry about my watch getting scratched because I plan to sell it when the, or, well, I plan to sell it someday when I need to upgrade or whatever. So it's nice to have a screen protector to make sure it's protected, protected and doesn't get a bunch of scratches, things like that. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and comment down below if you have any questions about the Apple Watch because I know I'm not going to be the only one that can answer those. There will be other people in the comments that can answer your questions also. And make sure you subscribe and check out my vlog channel and the little eye thing, which I believe will be up here. And if not, check it down in the description. And I will see you guys next week with another video. Bye.